Hi everybody and welcome back to the new home series and this is kind of going to be the finale. I may do another one next week that's going to cover kind of outside work. The final grade, final sod, sprinkler system, landscaping and fencing. So we can kind of go over that. But since it's kind of a crummy day outside today, I thought we'd finish up on the inside part of the home building construction process. And last time we visited with you, we talked about the granite tops going in, the tile being installed. So here we are in a finished product. Now, what we're not going to show you is the carpet install, even though the carpet's in here, because when the guys are putting in carpet, typically they've got everything laid out and we would be in their way. So we're going to go ahead and exclude that today. But we're in a gorgeous Summit uh, Custom Homes, uh, one of their Cambridge two two-story plans over here in Falcon Valley. We're in the master bathroom. So in here you can see that all the hardware's been added now. So on the cabinet doors, we've got all the pulls on. All the tile has been completed, grouted, cleaned up. The house has had a final clean. We've got shower doors, mirrors. Our lighting is hung. We've got one of the final things they do also we do in most of our homes include all the towel bars and towel racks. And so you'll see here we've got some rings and over here we've got a towel bar. And we do normally let the customers kind of place out where they'd like to have those things. Um, Kelsey, if you'll swing around and you don't need to see me, and if you'll look in the closet, here's the master closet. We've got a nice big walk-in closet here. And here's some of the, the carpeting's been laid inside here. Again, when you do the closets, you're allowed to kind of pick out how you want those structured. So you've got some cubbies, you've got some short hanging shelves, and then you've got a tall one around here as well. So this is a big walk-in closet actually. And if you follow me, you'll see that we actually walk into off the master closet. This is very common nowadays. And we're in the laundry room. So we've got a nice folding table. We've got our washer and dryer hookup. So here we've got everything ready to go to bring in the equipment and hook up the washers and dryers. We're going back out into the open hallway. This is a two-story plan. Now up here, they laid down some hardwood floors in the hallway rather than carpeting. So we've got some nice engineered flooring down here, which looks fantastic. Nice big hallway. Rod iron spindles have gone in. So this is another typical finish on most all houses. And this one actually has a built-in bookcase on it too. And then you'll see some beautiful wrought iron spindles. And that's kind of a lot of the finishing touches on the homes. And then when we get to the outside, we are basically going to cover the um, sod. And I've got a house we're gonna go to here very shortly in the next episode, where we're gonna talk about how the final grade is done how the sod is laid. We, we usually do it in order of we do a rough grade, then we try to put in landscaping, then we do our sprinkler system, then we do our final grade. If somebody's putting a fence in, they'll do the rough grade and fencing and landscaping kind of at the same time before the sod goes in. And then we're wrapped up and we're ready for people to take uh, possession of their home, obviously. Now, we don't include things like blinds and shutters. However, a lot of people will finance those in or they'll go ahead and get those scheduled. I strongly recommend getting blinds, shutters, refrigerators, uh, other appliances, bar appliances, getting those scheduled at least six to eight weeks before the house is completed because some of these items, and I know from personal experience recently, can take as long as six to eight weeks to get in. So anyways, we hope to have you um, over here with us next time to be able to view the rest of it. I've got some kids running around in the house. <laughs> Guys, go ahead and say hi, you're on video. And they're here enjoying the house as we're showing it. So anyways, we'll let you go and we look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.